Let's take a look at Eli Manning's last three seasons and pretty much the reason why the New York Giants looked to a quarterback in the first round with Daniel Jones, why they need to move on from Eli Manning. And let's see what we can expect from Eli Manning if he does play here in 2019. Here you look at the three years of grades for Eli Manning. Pretty consistent. Even in 2016, when the Giants were winning games, he still ranked only 25th with a 64.4 grade. He actually went up in 2017 to 68.9 and then back down to 64.3. So even though Eli's stats have fluctuated a little bit over the last couple years, and statistically last year he wasn't bad, the PFF grading is adding proper context and proper attribution to each throw by Eli Manning. And, you know, he's pretty much been the same guy. 25th, 19th, and 27th in the PFF grading over the last few years. So clearly ranking in that bottom third of NFL quarterbacks, it has certainly been time for the Giants to move on. Another place to really isolate Eli Manning's play, this is all clean pocket right here. Very consistently... Uh, in the bottom half of the league, 78.9, 80, 78 over the last three years. That is the probably best indicator of QB play looking forward. So a bottom third quarterback there for Eli. And then under pressure, you usually stumble into a really good season here. And that's what happened with Eli in 2011. 2011, out of nowhere, in that Super Bowl winning year, Eli Manning was incredible under pressure. And he faced the most pressure out of any quarterback in the NFL. It's one of the most... Uh, you know, incredible seasons of all time given what he did in that situation. But we see 31st, 22nd, and 28th in PFF grading under pressure over these last couple of years. So as he's aged, he's not handled pressure well, but even when in a clean pocket, Eli's still sitting in that bottom third of NFL quarterbacks. And here's the other place where we see some concerning trends. The big time throw percentage dating back, back to that 2011 and 12 season, Eli Manning was one of the better quarterbacks in the NFL, and he could drive the ball down the field, make those special throws down the field. We see his big time throw percentage though, very consistent, 3.4, 3.3, and 3.8, all ranking in the 20s the last couple years, but on the other side, turnover worthy plays, 4.5, improved to three in 2017, but then back up to 4.3 last year. So he's not taking care of the football. Remember, turnover worthy plays, those are those bad decisions or bad fumbles whether they result in a turnover or not, they're the quarterback's fault. So Eli, on the wrong end of those, and when you pair, especially last season, a 4.3% turnover-worthy throw ratio, it doesn't go well with the conservative nature that we've seen from Eli these last few years. This is the highest percentage of checkdowns since 2016. Eli Manning sitting there at number three with over 10% of his dropbacks resulting in checkdowns. And we're not talking about screens or designed short passes. We're talking about regular pass concepts where there's an option to throw the ball down the field and it's either not there or the quarterback decides to check it down and take the underneath option. Eli Manning, the third highest check down percentage in the NFL since 2016. So. We go back here, he's putting the ball in harm's way, also throwing a little bit on the more conservative end when it comes to checkdowns. If Eli Manning is going to have any kind of rejuvenation in 2019, I think he's got to be a little bit more aggressive, try to up this big time throw percentage and just get that one last hurrah before this becomes a Daniel Jones team in New York. This is why Eli Manning has pretty much had to be replaced over these last few seasons.